Looks amazing. <laughs> hey, everybody. This is Leah Mangum, and we're here for Take It From The Top Season 2. Woo! And I'm here with Joe Whelan, of course, and we have Harrison Whelan, and we have Angeline Rose Troy, and we have Chase Mangum. Hey, everybody. How are you guys doing? Good. How are you? I'm good. This is kind of a very special episode because this is our first time shooting while in quarantine. Yes. Now, most people might think, take it from the top, a very special episode might be more like, you know, an ABC after school special, but. Which you have done, which I remember <laughs> watching you as a kid. Can you tell us a little bit about that <laughs> afternoon uh, episode that you did? Oh, that was, um, was called Babies Having Babies. It was actually okay. a very cool thing. It was, the director was Martin Sheen. Oh, wow. Yeah. So it was pretty awesome. He was amazing. And um, I was in it with Lori Laughlin. Oh, wow. She's in uh, the news. Yes, she certainly is. <laughs> um, I was also in it with his daughter, Martin's daughter, who is um, adorable. And then another actress by the name of Akusua Busia, who, oh. if you like the movie The Color Purple, she played Whoopi Goldberg's sister. Um, oh, yeah. Seeley, it's, or it was Whoopi Goldberg Seely? The character Seely. I can't remember. But anyway, she played Whoopi Goldberg's sister, the one that was taken away and right. escaped to Africa. And then they met at the end of the movie. So, Aww. yeah. What happened to Martin Sheen's uh, daughter? Is she still acting? Um, you know, I'm sure she must be, but I, right. I, haven't, I, I haven't followed whether she, or not she has been, but um, Renee, her name is Renee Estevez. Uh -huh. She's really wonderful. Besides being an amazing person, she was right. a doll, but right. also a very good actor, so. Got it. So Harrison, we have Harrison here, who also plays Jill's son and is Jill's son. Um, but also <laughs> he is an amazing, talented guy. And he also does some work behind the camera. And uh, so we'd love to ask you some questions about how you were able to edit this together fabulously to make us look like we were all in the same room. <laughs> Thank you very much. Yeah, no, it was definitely a challenge, but um, it was fun nonetheless, for sure. Uh, it was just kind of a combination of making sure that, you know, like when I was sitting down with all the footage that I had all the takes that we had. And luckily, everybody was very diligent. Everyone shot, you know, one way and then another way. So I always had one or two angles. But I just had to kind of like sit down and like draft up on like a piece of paper here, like the eye angles and all that kind of stuff to make sure the continuity was all together. Um, it was fun. But it was definitely like a long process, but I wanted to make sure it was right. And just so that we could get the best, you know, possible quality out of it. Cause it was hilarious. The content wrote itself, obviously. Um, all I had to do was just lay everything into place. So it wasn't too big for my end, but. Well, uh, he's being modest. It was pretty crazy to figure out for all of us because in this new post COVID entertainment world, he had to create a set that we no longer had with different angles that we hadn't figured out yet because right. everybody was in a different place when they shot it and and figure and everybody had to shoot it two ways so that you could see as he was saying their eye line this way and their eye line this way so depending on where we put people in the scene right that he had the um you know the option the options to cut it the way that he could which was crazy and Angeline is in New Jersey right and right. we're all in Los Angeles <laughs> luckily it doesn't matter <laughs> yes yeah. whoever lives in your home is going to be in this season that's kind of it right <laughs> basically, basically what's been happening and it's crazy because it takes so many people to make a television show to make a movie there's so many roles to fill and now we're, you know, relying on ourselves and like our family members being like, hey, can you just hold the camera like this and tell me if I'm looking in the right spot? And they're like, what, what are you talking about? <laughs> so it's actually a really cool experience because there's so much that goes into it and you have a whole new appreciation for, you know, every job on making a film. Yeah, absolutely. And it was fun with Chase because obviously yeah. Chase is, lives in my house with me. Yeah. <laughs> um, all the way plays Jill's son in the show. It was really fun shooting all the drum stuff and then it was fun Did i've you? grown a lot so yeah got some <laughs> really shrunken clothes <laughs> that 
was so funny. <laughs> yeah, it's crazy. It's crazy. But I have grown like a lot. It's still weird looking back and like you were taller than I was at that time. I was like, what? <laughs> so weird. You might be taller than Harrison. Harrison, yeah, taller I was, was going to say something. I was going <laughs> to save it for the end, though. Mm-hmm. <laughs> <laughs> um, so it's been fun, actually. It's yeah. been really fun for us to do this together, um, as well as Jonathan, my husband, who's also in it, who will be in next week's episode. So um, that's very cool. Harris, uh, Jonathan is your board op right now. And it's so funny because I kind of see this, this head popping in halfway through. <laughs> right there. <laughs> there he is. <laughs> <laughs> This is what we all do. We all just sit on this couch together all the time. And we have, you know, another son that pops in and out. So Making- how are you doing through this whole thing in your teenage years, Chase Mangum? Right now, I've just been working on a lot of music um, and just trying to stay creative, even though there's like not a lot of motivation going going on. It's just it's important to stay creative and still creating things. That's that's a it's a good time to release stuff. So and you guys are releasing this great show. So I think it's, you know, it's inspired me to try to release some more music over this time. Well, your music is amazing, so we can't wait for more Chase. <laughs> Thank you. And, and no spoilers, but I think we might get to see a little bit of pretty much everyone here on the screen, including Chase, to do a little uh, performing, some music. A little soft shoe. Yeah, a little <laughs> bit. So it's something that we all love to do. We all have a hidden talent, I think, that no one knows about. Jill, of course, is always performing, but um, the rest of us will be fun. I can't wait. And yeah. Angeline, how is your wedding planning going? <clears throat> It's going. It's a little weird because the world is sort of, you know, shut down. But uh, we we have the most we've most of it um, pretty much set up. Um, but I had a question for Harrison. Um, how scarred are you from shooting your mom in that bed scene? <laughs> oh, <that's laughs> oh. Hey, you know what? It's actually funny. It was a whole family situation because I had my little brother. My, I couldn't film it obviously because uh, right. I was in it. So I had my yeah. little brother, and he's obviously was roped into it. So. He was more scarred than I was because he was the one <laughs> recording the takes and having to do their full frontal. So, but I will say when I did have to create the blur the on her, I had to go, the effect essentially had to go frame by frame. So oh, it was, my- I, couldn't escape, I couldn't escape it either way. Let's just say I was <laughs> wearing a bodysuit the whole yes, time. Yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not something that the son wants to have to look at. That's all. But there is a therapy office right down the street. So if he needs to go. I think it's tough to get into therapy right now. I think they're all the offices are pretty full right now, honestly. I, I know. This is crazy. What's exciting too is that we're doing this and I'm so proud of us for finding a way to make this happen. But you know, who knows? In six weeks we could be back working again. I don't know, you know. And we might be able to do this all in the same room. We'll see. We yeah. it's wonderful, but it's so interesting how we're able to to put it together. I mean, I'm not trying to pat ourselves on the back. We're all trying to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. But at least we know that in a pandemic, we can still be creative and we can still put out new content. Right. So when the new world opens up, we'll see what we're left with. And and um, but it's nice to know that in challenges, we can figure out a way to forge. Right. Work. And this might have actually allowed us to do more because we would have had to try to raise more money to do more episodes. And in this way, we could just move forward, you know? So it's actually yeah. a, a blessing as well, you know? And people are looking for things to watch and new new content. So yeah. it's always very helpful. So we can all do our best to figure it out. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Chase, what's the next song you're working on? He just released, I'm going to be his mom for a minute. He had a song uh, named Chlorine that just came out and his dad actually talked about it on the talk last week. And uh, Rain, Wayne Brady gave it a, a shout out, which was wonderful. So. Yeah, I'm working on an EP right now. So it's really exciting. It's going to be four songs. So that's that's like my whole project. And I've just been working on that every day, countless hours. But you know, it's really exciting. And hopefully it'll come out soon. But I'm still just working every day on it. And then Harrison, I know you've got time. I know you're working on a lot of new software. Mm-hmm. And what have you been doing? Besides uh, yeah, I'm doing us? like <laughs> so I'm doing what Chase is doing, like but the like video version of that, pretty much. Yeah, so yeah. and editing. So like I've for a while, I've always been learning the Adobe Suite. That's what I was doing at my last job before all the stuff happened. All of this. Um, so essentially, what I've done is I've tried to just like extend what I didn't know. Um, during the quarantine. So just taking advantage of all this time. Um, so just taking online classes uh, and just practicing new things like that I have before, like for example, 3D um, 
editing I'm like trying that out and working with like 3D space and it's something I've never done before I used to kind of do it at my old job but I was like in the training aspect of it but now I have all this free time so I was like why not just see you know what I can actually accomplish so just like right. Chase I'm, I'm trying to be as creative as possible and just like working as much as I can because I can so you released too Harrison oh yeah yeah thank you yeah on Instagram right yep. yeah yeah if anybody wants to follow him on Instagram, it's underscore Barry dot, dot Allen, A-L-L-A-N. And then another underscore. Right. And another underscore. But the, the 3D stuff he's been doing and the special effects stuff he's been learning is phenomenal. Um, uh, it's, it's really interesting to watch how he's done that. But I wanted to just say one thing about Chase that maybe people don't know. I don't know if I said this in any of the other cast chats we've done, but he's an incredible musician. He plays the piano and the drums and the saxophone and the trumpet and the everything. It's, and he's so proficient at all of them. What does Thank that you, feel like to be able to do that? Uh, I mean, I grew up loving music. So it just honestly feels natural. Like it's weird, like it's weird and people like, um, like it's just weird to me that, I don't know, it's, it's weird to me that it's weird to people because to me, it just feels so natural and it's just, it's something I grew up with. So it's like, oh, like, I don't know. I just play all these instruments and it, it's my family kind of taught me how to play all of them, but I really love them. And, and it kind of feels great knowing that I have that ability. That's great. Wow. I, just want, I wanted to say Harrison, I, I don't know if it was your first movie that you directed, but one of your first movies you directed, Jill and I and Jonathan, we were all a part of it. And I can't yeah. wait to see that someday. Someday. Yeah. you remember okay. that it was so much fun it, i'd say in that, that one of those experiences was learning how hard it is to actually put a film together <laughs> <laughs> it was it was one of those learning experiences for sure yeah. oh it was great we have jeffrey sutton is saying hey folks he's one of our regulars he's so lovely he comes to see every chat and he watches every show Patty Conway just joined. She said hello to everyone. Ron Stanko's watching. Uh, and uh, let's see. Rob Stavick said, what's up, everybody? Hi. Angeline, what's happening with you right now? Um, well, actually, I'm in the middle of shooting our script for <laughs> next week, right? Yep. That's great. Uh, that's wonderful. That's why my hair is extra long and there's a lot of makeup on my face. <laughs> <laughs> no, that looks great. Chrissy says hello. We have all these people coming in to say hi to us. That's so wonderful. Aww. I'm so glad they're following us to our next season. That's incredible. So Yay. very excited. Very excited. And Angeline has a really fun episode. I'm going to call this Angeline and Jill's episode, the next episode. It's really fun. It's a really great episode. And I can't wait to see everyone has to have all their stuff in for Harrison by tomorrow. So I haven't seen anything they've shot yet. I have to shoot yet. <laughs> um, but I can, Jonathan has to shoot, but I'm very excited to see it. I can't wait. It's going to be wonderful. You're going to, you're going to green screen. I'm going to green screen. Yeah. Yeah. So we'll figure it. We're, we're going to figure that all out. See, it's yep. just the way yeah. we have a red curtain that we're dropping off each other's doorstep. Of course, we're spraying it and cleaning it and wiping it down, but we have a, a communal type clean, uh, curtain that works as a backdrop as well. So. I got lucky. There's a bar in my house downstairs. So I've been shooting in there. I've got lights set up and a little microphone and stuff. So getting some use out of that. Yeah. It's yeah. One, we're not going to want to go to work. Like when we all need to go to work, we're going to say, what, what do you mean? Like, what? We can't just shoot it from our house. That's crazy, right? <laughs> it's crazy. The green yeah. screen part was crazy to me. You know, what's that? The green screen oh. part that yeah. we did was crazy. And Harrison's never edited I mean well you've edited sports edited well yeah so like what's cool is that my at my old job that was what we did we essentially is like when you go and watch a sports game all the stuff that's on the jumbotron that's like what we shoot so essentially it's like all green screen for the most part so I understand how to to light a green screen and I've worked with like keying it before so that's why I felt like I was a little bit confident in trying to combine two people from different scenes and make it look like it was one I definitely like learned a lot from it but it, it was something that I like had a little bit of uh knowledge in before so I was ambitious to try it out if, if I didn't know I definitely would not have tried <laughs> it would have been 10 times as hard yeah but, well, we promise not to put more than two people in a green screen for you. yeah please <laughs> right right I'd exactly. limit as many different lighting setups as possible then 
We should. Yeah, <laughs> you had to green screen and you had to split screen. Uh, yeah, and then also color correct. Um, right. Two right. different. That that was what was the hardest because I also like I'm still. I, like I understand how to edit in a lot of ways, but there are certain things that I'm not too keen on and I'll be, I'm humble enough to admit that. So like when it comes to that kind of stuff, I really like, I wanted to make sure I learned the right way first. So like for when it came to the coloring, I made sure that I was, you know, up to speed with all that kind of stuff, especially since we were, I was coloring people on different green screens. So I, I've never done that before. And that was what was really tough, but right. I think I did okay. Hopefully. Oh, you did great. It good, it's wonderful. Hopefully. It's really wonderful. All right, everybody. So we're back, season Woo! two. Yay! Stay with us, everyone. And uh, we have, what, six episodes this season? Yes. So yes. Uh, we'll be dropping uh, episode Five more to go that you haven't two. seen. Yeah, and we haven't written. <laughs> yeah, four that we haven't written. Four that we haven't written, yes. <laughs> so we're busy. All right, everybody, thank you so much. Stay safe. Bye, Bye. Bye. everybody. Bye.